Welcome to this edition in a series of instructional videos from Mohawk Finishing Products. Our goal is to help you apply beautiful wood finishes and to perform excellent repairs on damages such as dents and scratches. Thanks for watching and here's our video. Epoxy sticks are excellent fillers for finished or unfinished wood. Epoxy sticks are very durable, high viscosity two component fillers. They come with one component wrapped around the other. They are often used for large damaged areas where their strong bonding properties assure a permanent repair. However, they are also used on smaller areas where a burn-in is traditionally used in order to take advantage of their rugged nature. Cut off a piece of the stick as required by the size of the damage. Press the epoxy into a ball in your fingers. Knead it together until the ball has become one color. Press the mixture into the damage and begin to shape it to the contour of the damaged area. A putty knife or plastic card may be used to help shape the epoxy. Pre-wetting the tools with water will keep the epoxy from sticking to the tools. Likewise, wetting your fingers helps you shape the epoxy. Take off as much excess as possible to reduce the amount of sanding required later. Allow the fill to cure and harden. Curing will take about 8 minutes. Sand the area level using the same sandpaper that was last used to smooth the wood, typically aluminum oxide open coat P180A or garnet P150A to smooth the filler. This repair now needs to be colored, grained, and top coated. Epoxy sticks are available in several colors. The colors can be used separately or they can be mixed to create custom matched colors. In order to help you mix accurately and without waste, we've developed a color mixing guide that includes many colors and the formulas for attaining those colors. In our example, the second color in the first column is the closest match. The formula is three parts of color A and one part of color B. The code at the bottom of the chart reveals the formula to be three parts of oak light walnut and one part of walnut. In order to create units to be used as parts, we cut equal size slices from each color. We then cut each of the slices into four equal sections. According to the formula, we take three sections of oak light walnut and one section of walnut in order to attain the target color. The sections are kneaded together and put into place. The remaining sections can be stored and used at a later date. Epoxy putty is another form of hard filler that can be used on finished or unfinished wood. Epoxy putty is a thick paste filler. It cures in 5 minutes and is non-shrinking. This material will bond to anything from glass to wood or metal. The unit package consists of a resin, part 1, and hardener, part 2, which are mixed in equal parts. It is excellent for filling large holes and repairing broken corners. It comes in tan and natural colors. Since the damage we are going to fill is on an edge, we will use a piece of wood wrapped with wax paper to create a form for the edge of the damage. The form should be clamped in place before mixing the epoxy. Measure out equal parts of resin and hardener in the amounts needed to complete the repair. You may add powdered pigment into the resin to control the color. The goal is to match the background color of the wood. Mix the pigment into the resin before adding the hardener. Thoroughly mix the two components, allowing an additional minute of mixing after a uniform color has been achieved. The mixing process should include a technique of folding the epoxy under the mixing tool. Simple stirring could leave unmixed resin at the outer edge that will not harden when applied. Apply the mixture to the damaged area. Make sure the damage is filled. Take off the excess at the top. Denatured alcohol may be used on the leveling tool to lubricate it to keep the epoxy from sticking to it. The denatured alcohol may be used on a rag to remove excess around the damaged area. Allow 5 to 10 minutes drying time depending on the temperature of the room. Sand and shape the repair as needed using aluminum oxide open coat P180A or garnet P150A sandpaper to smooth the filler. Finish sanding with sterated 320 grit paper. For more information or to purchase the products you've seen on this video, please go to www.mohawk-finishing.com or call us at 800-545-0047. We are the leading manufacturer and distributor of professional touch-up repair and finishing products for wood and leather. You can see and purchase all of our products on our website and you can find your closest distributor. Thanks again for watching.